Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and welcome back to the Ethical Hacking course. And in today's video, what I'm going to be talking about is Mac changing or changing your Mac address. Now you might be asking yourself, why is this important? Why would I need to change my Mac address? Well, basically changing your Mac address will give you more privacy and will protect your identity. So in a way, it's a form of anonymity. However, uh, a Mac changing your Mac address will be effective uh, only usually it's very effective for local area networks or Wi-Fi networks. So just your home network or your school network, for example. It's really not powerful when it comes to connecting yourself over the Internet and performing uh, hacks or performing scans like so. Uh, so let's basically get started. I'm going to explain as we go. So like every every video uh, that we've gone through, I'm going to start from the terminal and we're going to use a command called Mac changer mac changer and we're going to say help mac changer help right so and this is going to open the manual for mac changer in the terminal so um if we look at the commands it's going to say we have the help command pretty self-explanatory we then have the version of the mac changer uh, we then have uh, to uh, the show command will, which will basically show us our current mac address which is what i want to get to right now so let's actually let's Let's run that command, Mac changer S, all right? And if I hit that, actually, hold on. Um, what we have to do now, uh, I forgot to tell you guys, is we have to check our uh, our network interface devices. And uh, you, can, you can find this by using the ifconfig command, like I've mentioned in previous videos. And what this will basically do, let me just uh, resize this. Um, this will basically show us our network interface devices and um, you want to select the current uh, network interface device that you're using and I'm using the Ethernet Zero. So just keep that in mind or just copy whatever the name of the uh, internet or the network interface uh, card that you're using. Just copy it. Uh, I already know mine is going to be Ethernet Zero. If you're using Wi-Fi, that's probably LAN Zero. So uh, let's actually proceed to the next step. So. I'm going to clear the terminal and uh, let's run the previous command, which is Mac changer help. So we can basically have this as a reference point and let's run the Mac Mac changer S. Oops, excuse me. Mac changer. Mac changer S and then you want to use your network interface device. Mine is Ethernet zero and I'm going to hit enter. All right, so it's going to say your current MAC address and your permanent MAC address. Now, I want to point out one important thing here. Many people mistake uh, MAC addresses for device MAC addresses. Now, let me explain. This MAC address here belongs to your network interface card or your network card. All right. It does not belong to the computer. And I've got comments saying of, uh, I've got comments saying that um, this is your Mac address and people can, uh, you know, uh, track you and stuff like that. That's my network uh, Mac address. This is the Mac address that's displayed on the network. And that's what I was getting to. How is a Mac address actually uh, utilized on a network? Well, a Mac address will usually provide two things on a, on a network or a Wi-Fi network or a local area network. It will provide you uh, the identity of, of a machine via the network interface card. Now, let me explain that. In a Mac address, the first three digits right here, as I've highlighted, belong to the manufacturer. And if you do a quick Google search of this, this will uh, turn up. Uh, a manufacturer's name so you can actually find the the build of the manufacturer so that's one way of identifying it the last three digits can be changed to your will uh, as i will get to in a few moments that's the uh, the interest of this video now how can a mac address be used on a network well let's say a systems administrator uh, wants to know the devices on on the network you basically find the names of the devices with the MAC address. So it's really about identification and it's this MAC address does not belong to the device. It belongs to the network interface card in the device that you're using. So I just wanted to clarify that. So basically, this is my current MAC. Now, if I wanted to change one, I'm going to go uh, down up into the manual section here or the help section. And uh, 
we basically have the a command which is mostly used most of the time so it's going to set a random uh, mac address so let's actually try that so i'm going to say that's the uh, a command so let's actually try that so i'm going to say mac mac changer i always get that typing wrong mac changer a and uh, we're going to select ethernet zero that's mine it, yours can be wi-fi as well no worries there and i'm going to hit enter all right and it's going to say the current mac address is dc and the permanent mac address is, matches this one and it's going to give you a new mac address which is this one right here and it actually gives you information about the uh, manufacturer now we can basically just confirm this by hitting mac changer s ethernet zero to confirm that indeed it has changed and as you can see here the current one is a new one and it's different from the permanent mac address so it's really 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 cool to see that you can actually change your mac address and i'm going to explain why this is usually very powerful on a wi-fi network or a local area network all right so let's say you're performing a scan on your local area network all right or your wi-fi network if you wanted to uh, basically find the the manufacturer of a device because most of the time if you perform scans it's going to give you a bunch of random macs and ips and basically to determine uh who who is using that device you can basically find out the manufacturer of the network interface card that's in the device and from there you can actually uh, get more information so as you can see it's a really really powerful tool to stay anonymous on a Wi-Fi network, whether you're performing scans or, you know, packet inspection and stuff, just basically stuff like that. So it's a really, really uh, cool, um, cool little uh, tool you must. In fact, it's very, very important. I would actually recommend learning it. And it's pretty, pretty simple, as you can see here. It will just probably take, I'm probably going to cover everything in this video right now. So um, if you want to reset it to the permanent uh, MAC address, what you would use is the p command and i'm going to show you that right now so mac mac changer p and uh, ethernet zero and we're going to hit enter and if we check mac changer s ethernet zero it's going to actually return it to the previous permanent mac so you actually know how to change it to a random one and you can change it back to the original one. Um, you then uh, actually have another command which you can basically set, um, uh, you can basically use the R command which will basically uh, set a fully, just a fully random max. So it will change the manufacturer kind and that's the difference between um, the setting a random vendor Mac of the same kind will basically send set the uh, the hardware model or the manufacturer model the same one but a different Mac address, which is not really powerful. This one would be uh, more powerful using the R command, but you get the idea. Um, you then have the L command, which is also pretty cool. This is actually very 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 important. Uh, you then have the L command, which will basically print the known vendors. So this is just basically a reference for you to just choose any random uh, manufacturer. So let's actually try that. All right. Um, so Mac, Mac changer. I believe it's L. Oops, whoopsie daisy. Excuse me, guys. All right. So it's going to print out the first three digits, as I mentioned, that determines the manufacturer and it's going to give you the names of the manufacturers. So we have Samsung, we have Compaq, we have D-Link, Cisco, and you get the idea. So you can be from here, you can basically copy and create your own Mac address uh, based on this and just leave the other three digits uh, random, which is what I'm getting to right now. As you can see, there are a lot of um, manufacturers here and I actually have to just use the scroll tool to just go back up here. Now, to just change it to whatever you want, which I would not recommend for beginners, is the M command, which you get the idea is basically just using uh, your own combination and it's pretty self-explanatory. But that's basically it, guys. This is uh, one of uh, very important tools you must be knowing uh, just to make sure you're safe on the Wi-Fi network and you can't actually get detected doing whatever you're doing. So yeah, that's pretty, pretty awesome, guys. I uh, hope you this video helped you guys. Or if you like the video, I want please leave a thumbs up down below. If you didn't like the video, let me know why in the comment section. If you have any questions, hit me up on Kick, my social media. 
um, or in the comment section of the video uh, right down below. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for watching these videos. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, by the way, again, make sure you share these videos if you know people who need this information. Uh, it can really, really help them. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace.